we're going to start with, and I'm going to look at it here so I don't have looking back there. The next one is clothes, as in clothing. And it's just you start at the upper chest and you just kind of come down. Clothes, clothes, okay. The next one is coat, coat, like you have a lapel on a coat. So there's your two thumbs like this, coat, coat. Next one is dress, and you're going to see dress looks very similar to clothes, except there's a little extra movement to it. So this is clothes. Dress is like this. Dress. Dress. Okay. Shirt. Just like it's your shirt. Shirt or blouse, if I had it. Pants, like you're pulling them up. Pants. Shirt, pants, hat, pretty easy, hat, okay. purse, like you're picking a purse up off the, picking a purse up off the floor. If you guys would prefer, you can have a man bag, but purse is easier to sign. Purse, purse, a man bag, yeah, purse is um, where am I? Button. You have an F button. So F with the flat part of your hand towards your body. Button. Okay. Glasses. <coughs> Glasses. Just kind of outline. Glasses. Glasses. Sock. Sock. And you can see it kind of pointing down, pointing down with a sock. And then shoe is with two S's. Shoe. Socks and shoes. They're S's. Socks and shoes. Right. Hearing aid. It's like you're putting it in your ear. Hearing aid. Ring is like you're slipping and you do use the ring finger ring, or you'll see sometimes people do it with an R. You slip it on, ring. Okay. And watch, and that's the watch that you, the, the wrist watch is watch. Watch. Okay. I've seen people do it with an F. I mean with a W before, but watch. Watch. So we'll do those again. Clothes. Coat, coat, dress, you go down and out for dress, shirt, pants, like you're pulling your pants up, hat, purse, button, Glasses, glasses, sock, shoe, shoe with your S, hearing aid, ring, and watch, watch, with an F sign. Go ahead and do it like I said, emotions and actions today, so we can do a little review on Monday, have our quiz next next um, Wednesday. Okay, look and see is basically like this. Okay, like this. You may see like this. That's also okay. All right, you may see it like this and like this. So think about the B with vision. It's the way I remembered it. Think about the B with vision. So it can be like this. Look. Which one are you with? Probably just this one. Okay. But if you see this one, that's not unusual. Look. Okay. This is the one that's in our ASL. Okay. We did here before, I think. Here. Just here. You may do it like this. Listen. All right. So we'll use this one here. But somebody may say, you see your eyebrows kind of furrow. 
sometimes we use those two words interchangeably, interchangeably, right? So fear and wisdom. Right. Talk. 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 Again, these should all be consistent with the talk with what's on the ASO University website, all right? Talk. Talk. So look. Fear. Listen. Talk. Come and go. Come. So you've got your pointers. And just coming towards your body. So go. Go. Come. Go. Come. Go. All right. I could do this right now. Sleep. <laughs> you need to make sure. Yes, ma'am. Is it one hand or two hands? I think it can be either one. I usually do it one handed. Okay. Did you learn it two handed? Did you? Okay. It's one of those that you can do, you know, either. But the, the thing is, I think the, the thing that is pretty standard is you've got a five hand and as you bring it down over your face, you close your eyes and you tilt your head. So, you know, we said that ASL is a visual language, sign is a visual language. So rather than just this, it is sleep. But yes, you certainly can do it two-handed, okay? Sleep. All right, wake up, wake up, wake up, right? So you're flipping those eyes open, flipping those little eyes open, wake up. And of course, you're gonna widen your eyes as you do that. Wake up, okay? Tired, tired. You're going to start with your C hand up here, okay? And as you bring it down, you, again, you know, that head kind of goes to the side. So you're indicating that you're tired. Tired. Not very hard to do on a cloudy Wednesday that I kept thinking, oh, it's Friday. I'm tired. But it's not. Okay. Cry is one that you should pick up on fairly easily. Cry. You can do it with one or two hands. Cry. Okay, so it's just indicating, of course, the tears, yes. Cry, cry, right. Laugh, you're gonna do with your L, and you're going to do laugh, okay, laugh, okay. It's kind of creepy when you just do it like that, but it is laugh, <laughs> laugh, all right. Happy, happy. smiling. Happy. Happy. You could do it if you were, I guess if you said you were not happy, but typically happy is a, is a good sign. Happy. Happy. Right? Sad, again, we're going to go with our head droop, and we're going to do sad. Sad. Okay? Sad. And the head droops and the eye, the eyebrow, um, you know, furring of them and stuff, furrowing of them is important when we're doing these signs, as we're doing them to really get the meaning, okay? All right. Sad. Okay. Pretty. You've got a five hand, you take it around, and you stop it at the chin. Pretty. Pretty, or near the chin. Now, not everybody distinguishes between pretty and beautiful, but there is a distinction that you can do. Um, if you don't want to say something very pretty, you know, sometimes you want to do something that's very beautiful instead of pretty, you can say, whoops. <laughs> you can, this is pretty. Beautiful is with a burst. Beautiful is often with a burst. So pretty and beautiful. Like some grandchildren are pretty my grandchild is beautiful okay so we have to have that distinction right beautiful okay ugly i have the perfect nose for this but the point ugly ugly so it's just your index finger under your nose and just kind of bring it to a crook ugly ugly Love, love, all right. When you look at the description,
scripture that says to do it over your heart, but you'll see a lot of people that just do this. Love. Love. Like. I think we have like up there. I like that too. It's just an emotion that we all have. <laughs> so, love and like. Like. Middle finger. Middle finger. Like. Like. And this is the emotion of like. Okay. Like. Not, not I want one like that. That's a different sign. This is, you know, I like chocolate. Like. Like. So, love like we'll put in hate even though i won't I, since it's not up here it won't be on one of the quizzes but just because you need to know hate hate okay hate so love like okay. afraid it can be used in you know just as we use um, it's scary, or are you afraid? You can you can use them um, as uh, synonyms. Afraid, 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 afraid. Please. A lot of you probably already know. Please, I'm sorry. This is please with an open hand. This is sorry is with an S. Okay. Please, sorry, and. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Sorry. Thank you. Um, you can do a two-handed thank you. Actually, this is more of a thanksgiving, but you can do a thank you with two hands if you're very thankful for something. Okay. Thank you. Now, I have your welcome in parentheses because... In deaf culture, when, when people are signing, usually welcome means that come in. I'm going to greet you, like welcome to my home, okay? Um, typically, the response, if I would say thank you, you would say good. That's a typical response in deaf culture and ASL. Thank you, good. Because they think of welcome as like welcome to our home. There is a signed exact English um, sign for your welcome, and that is with a W like this. Mm. W. We won't, I won't put that on the, the quiz or anything, but just to let you know that there is, because I've had students say, well, if they tell me thank you, how do I tell them you're welcome? All right? And typically, it's the response to thank you is good. All right? So that's one of those, you know how we, you don't know the language until you know the culture kind of thing. And it was something that I was not aware of for, for years. All right? Uh, questions about these clarification about any of our emotions? Those these guys, let me know if they're not. But I even went back through and looked at ASL University to make sure I had, was using the same ones um, that, were, that were up there, okay, that were on there. So if there's anything that's different. Um, let me know. Yes, sir. Uh, funny. Which one is that one? Oh, did we not do funny? No, I don't we know. We didn't do funny. 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 Did we, wasn't there silly up here too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I skipped a whole line. Okay. Funny. No, funny. I'm sorry. Did I just do it from my chin? Yeah. This is cute. Funny is from your nose. Funny. 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 Okay. And silly, silly, funny, silly, okay, angry, from your gut, angry, you throw it out there, <coughs> angry, absolutely, <coughs> I'm so mad, <laughs> okay, you know how when you just, uh, so think of that, angry, angry, silly, Crazy, any guesses? Absolutely, yeah, it can be with the, I saw this, we could do that or just this, either this or this, we'll probably just do the <coughs> crazy. Crazy, okay? We did afraid, right? And we did love, so I don't know why I skipped funny, 